Welcome to the Gospel reading and family prayer suggestion for the third Sunday of Easter where Jesus appears again to his disciples and shares a meal with them. And I'll begin with a prayer. Name the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, open our minds to understand the scriptures that we may fully understand the truth of your word. Amen. And the reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24, verses 35 to 48. The disciples told their story of what had happened on the road and how they had recognized Jesus at the breaking of bread. They were still talking about all this when Jesus himself stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. In a state of alarm and fright, they thought they were seeing a ghost. But he said, Why are you so agitated? And why are these doubts rising in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet. It is I indeed. Touch me and see for yourselves. A ghost has no flesh and bones as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. Their joy was so great that they still could not believe it, and they stood there dumbfounded. So he said to them, Have you anything here to eat? And they offered him a piece of grilled fish, which he took and ate before their eyes. Then he told them, This is what I meant. When I said, while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, in the prophets and in the Psalms has been fulfilled. He then opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, so you see how it is written that the Christ would suffer and on the third day rise from the dead and that in his name repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached to all nations beginning from jerusalem you are witnesses to this the word of the lord thanks be to god a family prayer um, suggestion family life is strengthened through storytelling and shared meal times in a similar way, Christian life is sustained by God's word in scripture and by Christ's presence in the Eucharist. We are especially sustained in our faith through our weekly celebration of Mass on Sunday. And today's Gospel reading reminds us that the scripture and the Eucharist are given to us so that our acts of bearing witness to Christ might be strengthened. And as you gather as a family, ask each person to share their favorite story about your family and talk about the importance of these memories about your family life and the importance of the meals you have shared together as a family. And recall that these stories and meals strengthen the love that you share between you. And in a similar way, our Christian life is strengthened by sharing God's word and the Eucharist at mass. And then read together um, today's gospel and discuss the mission that Jesus gave to his disciples after their shared meal. The Eucharist also sends us to be Christ's witnesses in the world today and then end by praying together that we will be strengthened by God's word and by Jesus's presence in the Eucharist to be witnesses to Christ every day. Um, thank you for sharing the gospel with me. It's a great joy to share the gospel with you and may it ever bring you closer to Jesus. Take care and bye-bye.